You usually hear about open telemetry in the context of backend services, but what if I told you that you can leverage the same powerful observability tools on your Next.js, Angular, or React app? Today, we're going to go through a quick overview of open telemetry in the browser and how we can compare the common open telemetry signals to what happens in our front end. And then we're going to jump into a demo of doing this on a Rails and React application. What's open telemetry? In a nutshell, open telemetry is a standard for collecting observability data like traces, metrics, and logs. It's becoming the go-to framework for monitoring distributed systems and it's open source. If you're interested in learning more about open telemetry, check out the link below. But in general, open telemetry covers three key types of signals, traces, metrics, and logs. Each of these play a vital role in understanding what's happening in our system. But to go back to my earlier point, how does my front end application, maybe written in React or Next.js, play into these signals? First up, network requests. These can be compared to spans or traces that measure load times for our users. They can also connect your client side actions with backend services. Essentially, they give you a complete picture of a user's journey from when they click on a button to the actual request being sent to the server. Then we've got console logs, which can obviously be compared to logs. These are super helpful for debugging and understanding what's happening in the browser. And as we all know, when we hit command shift I or open inspect element, everything that's being printed in the DevTools console. Next, we've got user interactions like clicks and form submissions. These are important for understanding user engagement and can also be compared to spans or traces. And lastly, we've got web vitals. Web vitals are key performance indicators that can tell you how your site's performance, page load, timed interaction, and so on are going. And these can also be represented as metrics or as traces. We're going to start by installing this on a very simple Rails application that has a front end attached to it. We'll link a GitHub repo in the show notes if you want to take a closer look. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use the highlight SDKs, which import open telemetry under the hood to keep the experience a bit more smooth. But keep in mind that you can use the raw open telemetry SDK if you want. We'll also link some docs below that point you in the right direction on that front. Okay, let's get into it. First, you'll want to install highlight in a Ruby environment. Then we'll add a few lines to our front end app to get open telemetry running there too. We will also enable OTEL auto instrumentation in the browser with a config option. After that, you can verify your installation by viewing a session or a log in the highlight dashboard. At this point, you'll already have most of the data collection we talked about up and running. Beyond that though, if you wanna take things a step further on the front end, you can also add manual instrumentation using the start span method. This is useful when you need to track something very specific that's not automatically captured. Now let's see all of this in action within Highlight and how this relates to all of the resources and signals we talked about earlier. Here's a session where we've collected data using the setup we just walked through. As you can see, we've got our network requests, user interactions, and even web vitals all in one place. Let's take a look at a request that happened in this session. Here you can see the request initiated in the browser and all the code it executed on the server. I can also quickly jump to the session to replay exactly what the user was doing when the request was fired. Now let's take a look at one of the document load spans. These tell us how long it took from the user hitting enter in the URL bar to having all the assets loaded in the browser. But the best part is that the load can also show you server-side code that runs to render the actual HTML. You can see this top level span for the initial request, the work done server-side, and timing information for all the resources loaded by the browser. Pretty cool. With this setup, you have everything you need to monitor your front end performance and understand how users are interacting with your app, all powered by open telemetry. And that's it. Open telemetry in the browser might sound unconventional, but it's incredibly powerful for gaining deep insights into your front end performance. If you haven't already, give it a try and see what you can uncover. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, see you in another video.